be sincere. Edna, what's the matter? You gotta be sincere. Mr. Brody, what are you doing? You gotta feel it here. Cause if you feel it here, well then you're gonna be honestly sincere. This down now, you gotta be sincere, honestly sincere. Oh man, you gotta be sincere. sincere. If you're really sincere, 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 if you're to it by directing the forces of his life towards a single goal which he believes in. And I believe that a man's personal search for happiness isn't really a selfish thing either, for by he himself achieving it, he can help others to find it. Does that make sense to you? We have spaghetti at our house three times this week. And here he is now, Mr. Willy Wonka! Charlie Bucket. Here's our ticket. 
So you're Charlie Bucket. That's an odd coincidence, you finding your ticket just in time. Uh, uh, now see here, Wonka, if you're trying to say our ticket is a fake... Hey, good to meet you too, mister. Oh, you know me, Wonka. Do I? Well then, let's proceed. Start talking. I'm sorry. I said talk, damn it. Talk! Shut up, Noah, Annie, just forget it, will you? Just forget it. Hey, get back here. Tired of everyone running for a door every time they get upset around here. Yeah, well, where do you think we get it from? Eddie! Fine, go. I don't care. She sure said don't. Eddie, stop it! He doesn't. Eddie! Look at what he does. He, he yells at you in front of us. He makes Annie cry in front of us. I mean, just look. She says Hail Marys every night, so he won't come upstairs in a bad mood. He doesn't care. So help me. No, so just, just let him go. And, and Rudy, and Rudy, you don't even know Rudy. You don't know that he is funny. You don't know that he does the best Ed Sullivan in the entire school. He, he's like a mouse when he's around you. We're, we're all like mice when we're around you. The only one you care about is Georgie, because he's retarded. Well, I'm sorry, but we're only normal. Well, Georgie, should I bother setting a place for Eddie? It's been three days. Yeah, I could be in Alaska by now. Hi. Uh, hey, Georgie. What are you doing here? Good night out forever. Daddy will be up here any second. It's Dad, Annie, okay? Not Daddy. We're, we're not kids anymore. What are you going to say to him? I don't know. What's he been like around here? Terrible. What's he been saying about me? Nothing. Oh, that figures. No. I mean, he hasn't been saying anything about anything. Not since you left. That's what's so awful. His silence is worse than ten bad moods. Are you going to say more of those things to him? That night, I thought I was in a nightmare. You kept saying those things and saying it, and I wanted to yell stop, but I was hypnotized. It's like somebody else was saying it for me. I was so proud of you. <laughs> hey, um, Frankie Meisner wants to know why I ate his guts. What? Uh, yeah, I saw him on his way to Chef's. He's a busboy. He said you give him the iceberg treatment in Glee Club. He said that? Uh, what, just because she's so pretty, she got to be so stuck up? You're lying. Mm, no, that's what he said. He said pretty. Yeah. Really? Give him a tumble, Annie. He <laughs> likes you. You don't have to be a goofball the rest of your life. Ah, more to send to me, yet. Better perhaps for look, you have less ambition. Okay. Vain, thou glittering marble. <coughs> In searching for thee, what fame have I not lost? Oh, little children love thee. I told them that they play at Peter Pan, and that the strongest always chooses Peter. They force the baby to be hooked. Oh, baby! <laughs> I'm told that they might be lovable. How am I to break into him that they find him lovable? Oh, no! My confidence of soda! 